Donald Trump Jr. speaks out on his contact with a Russian attorney on Fox News. In retrospect, I probably would have done things a little differently. Emails released earlier on Twitter by Trump Jr. show he and publicist Rob Goldstone set up a meeting last June with a Russian attorney who he was told had incriminating information about his father's campaign rival Hillary Clinton. Goldstone said it's part of Russia and its government support for Mr. Trump. Trump Jr. responding, if it's what you say, I love it. This is moving into perjury, false statements, uh, and even into potentially treason. So I'm not going to condemn the guy on an email, but this is something that's the most problematic thing I've seen thus far. The big question, was it legal? Donald Trump Jr. doesn't need to have received anything to make it potentially criminal. He could have just solicited, requested, asked for it, knowing it's coming from the Russian government, but it has to be something of value. Political analyst Chris Galdieri says it provides new information for special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation into the president's possible ties with Russia. He says Trump Jr. releasing the email chain was a bizarre move. Especially because it essentially confirms a lot of what people have been saying uh, in the last few months and in some cases as far as back as last year, which is that there was contact between the Trump campaign and people in the Russian government. In a statement, the president says his son is a high quality person and he applauds his transparency. Live in the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.